I would say that we were definitely the oasis of Wrigleyville. We wanted people to come in, hang out, sit at a couch, study, relax, read. We do music seven nights a week, from open mic, uh, from pop rock, acoustic folky stuff, jazz, world beats, you know, just about everything. We started as a coffee house and cafe, heavy emphasis on coffee, but with a lot of food from the very beginning. And now I think we're more of a cultural gathering place for the neighborhood. It's healthy, everything's made from scratch. We've been here 14 years, so we've had a chance to develop a lot of recipes that our customers want. We take a lot of suggestions. You can get a little bit of art, you can get a little bit of music, you can get some really healthy, you know, homemade cuisine. And you might get a really lovely infused martini at the bar that you didn't think you were going to get from a coffee house cafe establishment. Paul, you say that Uncommon Ground is the perfect blend for you. Tell us why you chose it. It's, it's just a perfect place. It, it basically, it covers all the bases. It's a place that you can go by yourself for breakfast mm -hmm. on a Sunday morning. It's a place you can go with friends for lunch. It's a place you can take your parents for dinner. It's a place you can go and sit by the fire with a cup of coffee for three hours and just chat mm -hmm. with friends. It, it's a great atmosphere. They have music, they have food, they have coffee. It's just it's a really everything. comfortable place. I used to pass it all the time. I just thought it was a coffee shop. I didn't realize that it's a really hip music venue as well. The night we were there, there was a kind of, a, you know, angst-ridden uh, <laughs> folk <laughs> singer. So there was kind of a brooding um, like jazz folk group and then there was this uh, this uh, quintet that was doing mm -hmm. acapella pop music. So um, every, every night you go there's something different. Now Chris, as a fire safety manager, you must appreciate the fact that the place is smoke free. <laughs> Enjoyed that very much, but on a personal level as well, but it's always good to, uh, to you know, promote safety. But it was great. It's uh, my experience though, and I loved it. I, I, I love the original. I guess that's kind of my take on it is I hadn't been for more than a year and it used to be this really quaint, cute little place where you could sit in the bay window and watch the snow come down. When I went, the food was great and the experience was also good, but it was just very different than what I had ever experienced before. So. Uh, still liked it a lot though. Now Melania, when you went, they did have live music, but you sat in the front part, yes. the lounge area. Now yes. why did you do that? Well, mostly because we were seated there. Um, <laughs> and then, <laughs> That's a good reason. <laughs> we, we didn't realize that there was live music, and then we heard, we heard the music, and after the meal we went into, just to see what it was like, the uh, live music area, and we were very glad we did not sit in the live music area simply because it was so loud and uh, I, I firmly believe it probably would have hijacked the dinner. So I was very happy that we sat where we sat. I really enjoyed the decor and the lighting especially is what I enjoyed about it. Now is there sort of a different atmosphere towards that one part of the room versus the front? I think there are. There's three very different atmospheres. The back room where the concert venue is is, is small mm -hmm. and intimate. Um, then there's the center section with a little kind of barista station. And then the front room is just, there's a big large bar and there's another fireplace area. And then, of course, they've got the entire sidewalk. That's a really great, just kind of sidewalk cafe. It's deep, mm -hmm. it's sheltered, there's trees all over the place. Melania, you went with your girlfriend. What did you two eat? We had, um, we had the, one of the best appetizers I've had. Uh, the artichoke and goat cheese dip, and that was fantastic. We actually ran out of the little bread chips, so we just ate out of the <laughs> It was very good. You can, um, you, know, you can actually, it's allowed, you can eat dip with a spoon. Yeah, that's if you're out of bread, you can do that. Um, well, it was it was very good. <laughs> you didn't know that? No, but you're I'm not a girl. No. It's a rule. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I had the uh, spinach gnocchi with spring vegetables, which was okay. It wasn't. It didn't wow my world like the uh, appetizer mm -hmm. did. Paul, when I you go there, it. what do you like to eat? Uh, I've pretty much tried the entire menu. You go breakfast, um, lunch, and dinner. I go don't breakfast, you? lunch, and dinner. Breakfast, if the chilaquiles are on the menu, mm -hmm. you have to have them. Um, the, for dinner, I had I had something that I hadn't bef had before, which was the pork chop that was just delicious. One of my guests, I think, stole the show with the uh, with the bacon wrapped uh, meatloaf, which I will go back for. And I'm you a, can wrap anything in bacon. I'm a fan of bacon good. at every meal. It, 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 it's the force <laughs> multiplier of meals, uh, and this was great. And and. Uh, 
and uh, she loved it. She thought it was great, and, and we, we really enjoyed it. So. You can wrap bacon and bake it. Yeah, and it'd be good. <laughs> right? Good. Right. Very good. So uh, it was, and I had the rigatoni, which was fresh. It was very good. Um, the mushrooms with, um, uh, with the sausage was just delicious. The dessert was fantastic. I, I had the apple cobbler, and if I'm ever in that area again, I, I might go just just for the cobbler and really oh, the, the dip? apple cobbler and the dip. <laughs> <laughs> I'd skip the cobbler. entree, no. skip the entree, just the appetizers and the, uh, the the dessert. Of course, the name Uncommon Ground gives way to the fact that it is a coffee shop. Uh, Paul, you maybe a big coffee fan. You like coffee? Um, I love coffee, and they have some of the they have some of the strangest coffee things in the world, but they're always always great. Their baristas have actually trained professionally. So when you go there, they make these lattes, and their lattes are served in a traditional manner in the bowl, and they do latte art. So you get mm -hmm. like a heart mm -hmm. and like mm -hmm. an arrow and spider webs. Spider webs, all kinds yeah. of different things. Isn't that fun? Mm -hmm. Play with your food. I like the hot <laughs> chocolate. It was delicious. So. Now you don't strike me as a guy right. that would get I into hot chocolate. I don't strike me as a hot chocolate guy either, but I really uh, was at the time I've been there before it was winter and said, hey, I'll have it, and it was really good. You know, big bowl and very generous. It's a place that I think I, w I will definitely go back to if I'm in the mm -hmm. neighborhood. And uh, my friend who lived in the neighborhood, she'd never heard of Uncommon Ground, and she was very, very surprised, and I think she will be going back as well. All right, Paul, Uncommon Ground with your selection. Give us a summary. Uh, great food, great atmosphere, great for all occasions. Perfect place to just sit down and relax. All right, Melania. Great appetizers and great desserts. I would probably go back on a Friday evening with friends. All right. Chris? Great food, uh, great experience. If you haven't been in a year, it's different, but it's still very good. All right. Well, you can find The Unexpected at Uncommon Ground, 3800 North Clark, 773-929-3680. Open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner every day of the week. Reservations are accepted, and the average dinner tab per person without drinks is $20. Mm -hmm.